Welcome to another video from Rommel's and Sons Body Shop, Rommel's Towing. We got another auction coming up here, April the 8th. About a, about a week and a half, isn't it, Anna Banana? Mm -hmm. And this auction is going to have some pretty cool things in it. Some, some few, few different things. Uh, no motorcycles. We're going to have one camper that's going to be different. A box truck. And a couple other things. But I want to highlight some more good cars. You know, it's just things you just cannot pass up, pass up. Uh, Here's a beautiful car out of Roosevelt Park. It's a uh, Chevy of some sort. Can you read that? 11 of what? 08? Yeah, 8. <laughs> okay, so that makes it a 2009 Chevy. Pretty solid little car going all the way around. Got a little bit of cancer, but other than that, it'll be all right. Malibu, CLT model. Pretty nice. Uh, we'll put some air on these May Pops because they're just flat on the bottom. This thing was a beauty. This came in. It's got a radar detector for you Speedos. And uh, it's, a, it's an Impala. Like I always say, we always got these Impalas. Uh, it's got this really funky hood release button here. See that? Guaranteed to work. And it has a motor in it. It's, got it's a good battery. thing to have in a car. Huh? It's a good thing to have in a car. A motor? Oh, yeah. I think that's pretty fancy. These doohickeys here, in case you break down, you just pull you right along, you know. Uh, or you get stuck. This one's got a little uh, mishap on the bottom with the air. Got some zip ties here, some fancy body work. You know, you do what you got to do. I mean, no, 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 uh, no judgment. Looks like you painted it blue. I do like blue, and it is the LT model. Moving on down here, we got this ugly caravan. Brian Ahern special airbags deployed. You know they work. Got a little bit of buffing to do in the front, but otherwise you'd be just fine. This one here is a really nice little car. Looks like it anyway. Oh, look at that cool emblem. The Chevy. Take a look at this one there, Anna Banana. Look inside. Pretty nice little car there. This one has got to be a, I should have brought my glasses, banana. What does that say? 13, 913. 913, so that's a 2014. What kind of car is it? It's a Chevy something, Equinox. Equinox. Wow, this must have been driving down the road when they got pulled over. It's a decent little vehicle. Got a little bit of dents here and there, but overall it's clean. Most of that will probably buff out, call the dentist. Push that right out. Grand free. It runs. This one has keys. It's a Ford Taurus. Don't sell my forklift. I love my forklift. This one had just a bit of a mishap in the front. Another Chevy Equinox. Got good parts. Check this one out. It's got a dent here. Well, other than that, it's a Toyota Tacoma two-wheel drive. I was thinking this had to be from out of state because there is like no rust on it. I mean, very little rust for the year. And this was driving down the road when he got pulled over. Uh, he was having him a little drink there. Looks like a McDonald's something or other. Oh, uh, that doesn't smell too good. But uh, I was surprised at how, how solid that one was. You don't see a lot of these two-wheel drive Tacomas. Here we got a Jeep. Got a little bit of hit, a little buffing to do in the front, not a whole lot, you know, but uh, if you would, uh, you know, do a little touch up here and there, a little spray, a little hood, you'd be just fine. Here we got a brook, another fancy brook. Doors work. Uh, this was driving when he got pulled over, too. This one here is a long story. This was a police investigation. And I'm not sure what the deal was. It, it was a, a mixture of VIN numbers and all kinds of issues. This was another police investigation. They quote, impounded this one, brought it in, and who knows? Looks like he uh, doing some power sliding. Got some thin uh, rubber there. This I don't know about, but I think this was running. It's a Chevy. Sometimes I think I should flip these back around so I can tell you what kind of car they are. Because I have no clue. Uh, this is a Jeep, four-wheel drive. Now winter time is over, but if you want to do go hit the sand dunes, you know, up and down and around about, this is the one right here, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice old vehicle. 
It's got four seats in it. It's got four tires. One's a little low on air. But otherwise, what a vehicle. I, I tell you what. Man, if I didn't, if I needed one, this would probably be the one to buy. Right. Here we got a nice 2014 Carrot Van. Um, airbags are deployed, so we know they work. You know, I love it when they're in working condition. I mean, you just can't beat that. You got one, two, three, a knee airbag, driver's wheel, and a center dash. The only problem with that was it kind of blew out the windshield. But it's got minor damage to it. It looks like it hit, what, what do you think it hit? A deer? Yeah, it was a deer, of course. Look at all that hair. Maybe I could reprocess that and reuse it and put it on my head. <laughs> we all know you need it. No, I know, for real. There's no structural damage, it doesn't look like. That, that frame horn is straight. Some of your lines are pretty good, so I'm, I'm thinking uh, this was the 30th anniversary. That door gap was good, open and closed so it didn't shift. That looks pretty solid. Door opens, got some seats in there, and watch this, door closes. Can't beat that. This one here, well, you know, it's had better days. Doing a Detroit lean here. Come back here, check this out. It's because the quarter rotted right out. This one's gonna go in the auction, it's an Azuzu. Uh, cool thing is, when you open the door, well, the other one did. The light comes on. So the battery's good. I, I don't have keys for this. Come around here. Yeah, see the light comes on. So the battery's good. I think this thing runs. They're a diesel. And it's got a box. It's good for storage. In case you want to get into one of those delivery companies. It's got a tailgate that uh, comes down. I don't know what they call those. But you can lift stuff up put it in there. All right, we got another Chevy Malibu with these fancy uh, doohickeys. These are for race car drivers, guys who drive really fast, you know, because they don't want the hood to pop up. Those are good. You should probably get those on your car. Oh, yeah, because I do speed, speed like That's that all the time. This one, I think the guy was living in, but I'm not sure. It's all kind of garbage in here. Lights, garbage, who knows? This one we'll buy, pass on by because, you know, it's seen better days. Another Pontiac. Looks like his eye fell out, so he's he's sporting the one eye. I like the hood scoop on it, pretty cool. We got a Monte Carlo, so that's not worth looking at. We got another Chrysler, two Chryslers in a row, so I'm gonna go back here and take a look. I don't know, it's a Chrysler, 200. There you go. And then this one might be a 300. I don't know. But it looks pretty solid, something worth uh, fixing. Doesn't look really too bad. No, nope, maybe not. The frame horn's bent just a little bit too much. Then here's another one. So we're moving along here, Anna Banana. Mm -hmm. This is a Magnum SXT. Looks like that tire uh, went from may pop to it did pop. Another Pontiac. Now these historical vehicles you should buy because they don't make these anymore. This uh, 300. This the twin to this one so you can get a him and hers right i mean you can't beat that you get his and hers and your wife's happy then we have the slob sometimes known as a slob these are kind of neat cars not for me but kind of neat but anyway the ignition's in the side there in the center console right so you can just right here this one's a nice one we got a couple right here that are really decent. You have to go around this one, but I don't know what year. Let me check the year here. Well, actually, you better look because I can't see. Forgot my lookers. It's got the tinted windows. 511. 511, so it's a 2011. And this is a cruise. Nice little doohickey. Take that rag off there. They don't need that. It's the LT model. I'm not seeing any real dents or damages to that. And then this one here is the Jeep Limited. Must have just got washed. And this one does not have keys with it. But it looks like it was up for sale. It is stock number blah, 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 blah. VIN 
The engine's a 4.7 V8, so that's a good ones. I think that's what they say, good ones or gooder. What's the VIN number here? I'm not seeing it. Well, maybe you don't need it. So I'm not sure what year this is, but, oh, 05. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> All right, so that's a nice little Jeep, not too bad. So in this auction, you know, I see about two or three. Oh, we got this uh, Mercury Mountaineer that's gonna go. I like this window. So Seems when the five, stable. yeah, so when the five O pulls you over and you're going to decide to be a sovereign citizen, you just reach your hand out there for the driver's license while you, if you're a sovereign citizen, you don't need one, right? Because you're not driving, you're traveling. Yeah, oh boy. Some people got all the brains, but then some don't. Yeah, Vanny. Anyway, this is uh, the Mercury. That's going to be the auction. We are going to have that motorhome in the auction. It's kind of an ugly one. Probably not even worth looking at. Uh, but... I wanted to do a quick uh, video here of what we're going to be having for sale. And I think, you know, like the van, the truck, uh, the Jeep, this uh, Malibu, the cruise. So there might be about a handful. Oh, the Equinox. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So maybe about seven vehicles that might be worth something. I don't know. But uh, you'll have to come out. And like everybody else does, you know, no guts, no glory, right? You got guts. Sure, yeah. All right, well, then you must have glory. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, please uh, smash that like button and don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. Also, uh, we got some other videos that we put out there. It's pretty cool stuff. Adam Banana's been doing a great job. And that's it for now. So I hope you're having a great day and we'll see you on the 8th, 10 o'clock, 710 Alberta.